Hi, it's James here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Keep and what it is. So, Google Keep is the note taking component of Google Workspace. You can get to it by going to keep.google.com. You can also access it no matter what Google app you're in through the action launcher button in the top right hand corner. So, if you're in Google Drive, Google Calendar, or Gmail, you can click on that icon and you can get to Google Keep. There's a couple of other ways you can access it too, which I'll show you a bit later on. So, what you see straight away is the notes that you've already composed, that you've stored in Google Keep. If you've never used it before, of course, you'll have no notes there, but it's very easy to create a new note. Uh, you'll see straight in the middle of the screen, you've got a take a new note box. Uh, if you click on that, you can stick a title in and then you can enter the contents of your note. You've got a couple of icons around here as well. So you've got a reminder icon, so you can actually set a date and a time and a location if you want to, of when you should be reminded about this uh, note that you've taken. You can click on the collaboration button to add other people to this note. And just like Google Docs, they can edit it in real time and add things to the note and delete things. So if you want to collaborate with somebody on a note, you can do that. You've also got a change background option. So some people like to have different colors for different things in their own little system. So for example, here on this users, they've got a to-do and they're using teal for the to-do colors. And for other things, they're using green. So you can just pick a color that sort of works for you. And that's something you can remember quickly and just view quickly how many of those you've got on the screen. You can add an image. You can archive a note. So once you've completed a note, say for example, this one, if I open it, I can hit on the archive button. It would disappear from this main view that we're looking at and it would just appear in this archive label on the left hand side. And then under the three drop downs, you've got an option to add a label. That's where you can create a new label, kind of using like hashtags. Uh, and these labels will appear on the left hand side of Google Keep. You can add a drawing. That's kind of just freestyle drawing with your mouse or if you're on a, if you're using the Google Keep app on a tablet or your mobile phone, you can draw with your finger. And then you can show tick boxes. So if you want to add a list items and tick them off like this to do list, and that's how you do that. You've also got the option to pin a note. So when you've created a note, you can click on the pin note and it will appear in this pinned area um, at the top up here. And you've also got some quick actions. So rather than hitting take a note, if you know you're going to make a checklist or you're going to be doing a drawing or a photo, you can just click on those straight away and those type of notes will be created. So if I click on a new list, you can see it's gone straight into list mode rather than me having to do anything else. Um, so going back to your main screen, you have your pinned notes at the top. Um, you'll see when you hover over them, there's a pin icon. And if you want to unpin them, you just click on that and they drop down to the other section. So your important stuff should be pinned and everything else should be down below. Um, let's open this to-do list one. So the to-do list one, as you go through your to-do list, because this is a checkbox system, you can rearrange them if you want to, but you can also tick them off. So if I hit the tick button, you'll see that that's now dropped down into the completed items. And I can hit close. That still stays there in the pin section because I haven't unpinned it. But I can see that I've done three of the tasks that I've uh, challenge myself for the week and I've got two remaining. Again here's another note that we've got here and this is just a, a note about this video that I'm making actually what I need to do what I need to show you guys and then how I need to render it and upload it to YouTube and it's just a little process for me to follow just to make sure that I've got everything that I want to show you included and I don't forget anything as I make the video. So let's go back to uh, close that. And as I said, you can find access to these um, notes in all the other apps. So I'm going to open up Gmail now. If I open Gmail, on the right hand side, I've already got it open. You'll see that you've got these four icons. And here we've got our Google Keep icon. And you can see the notes that I've just shown you on the main Google Keep page are available here. And I can take a note uh, straight from inside Gmail too. There's one extra feature I can do with Gmail though. I can actually open an email. Say for example, this one is quite an interesting one. It's about uh, a new feature that's coming to Google Docs. I can hit take note and you'll notice that the email has been attached to the note. So uh, let's just give this, this note a title. I'm just gonna copy the, the subject of that. And I'm just gonna put uh, this text in here into this keep note and hit done. And now that's been, that's been saved, but it's also got a link to the email. So if I go back to Google Keep, You'll see that that email, uh, that note has now come up here. It's appeared immediately, but it's also got a link to the email. So I've taken a note, associated it to an email, and if I click on that, it will then go directly to the email that I just created a note from. So that's a little hidden feature. If you've got a, an email that you want to take some notes about it, open the email, hit take note, and then it will also attach a link to that email into your Google Keep Notes. There's one other cool feature as well. So if we create a new Google Doc, You'll see that we've got Google Keep on the right hand side here. 
And what I can do is I can quickly change a Google Keep note into a Google Doc document. So let's use this one um, because it's got quite a bit of text in it and it will look quite cool on the video. So all I need to do is click on the note, drag it, and let go of it in the Google Doc. And there you see that's my Google Keep note. It's been transferred into a Google Doc. Of course, it's basic formatting because the note is basic formatting, but it means now that I could, um, I could, I could format this document. I could actually turn it into maybe a, a standard operating procedure for other people in the company to follow and have it stored in a Google Doc that I can share out. So those are like the cool features of Google Keep and what Google Keep is. You can get the Google Keep app on your mobile phone for both uh, Android and iOS. Again, you can get it on the tablets for both of them and you can access Google Keep through keep.google.com or as I said, through uh, Gmail and Google Drive and Google Docs, it's all there. So it's a very handy tool to use. It's better than using post-it notes and, and paper-based things. Um, and the nice thing with all these are they're backed up to your Google account and they synchronize for all your devices so you can get your notes everywhere. And again, you can share them out. So do give Google Keep a try. It's a really handy, handy tool. Um, it's got a search bar up here so you can quite quickly and easily search your notes and you can search who you've got collaborations with who you're collaborating down there and you can even search by color so it's really worth giving a uh, giving it a go a lot of people don't even know this tool exists in google workspace or they just forget to use it um, i use it quite heavily uh, a lot of the times and it's really worth going so go to keep.google.com to start experimenting with it